Hello and welcome back to the Chronicles of Aguna, the Arsenal podcast brought to you by loserpool.com. I'm your host, Harry Simiu, and this is the preview show. Now, in case you're wondering why there was no preview show last week, that's because there was an international break, and, and I thought that would be obvious, but to my surprise, I did receive a message via our Twitter inbox notifying me that the preview show wasn't available on iTunes last Friday. So at least somebody missed us. Uh, so thanks for your message. You know who you are. Um, this Sunday, Arsenal travel down to the south coast to take on Eddie Howe's Bournemouth side. Fifth, travelling to sixth. Arsenal are without a win in three, uh, despite remaining unbeaten since August. And Bournemouth come into this one off the back of two consecutive defeats, coming against Manchester United and Newcastle United. Now, I'm going to try and preempt how our opponents may approach this fixture and then highlight where I feel we can hurt them and the dangers Arsenal will need to be aware of. Now, I expect Azmir Begovic to start in goal for Bournemouth, uh, Cook and Aki in the centre-back positions, Jefferson Lerma in the centre of midfield, who I have to say has been a revelation since he joined the Cherries from Levante in the summer. He signed for a club fee of 25, a club record fee, sorry, of £25 million. Uh, Ryan Fraser, out wide on the left, always carries a threat. He's a pacey, tricky winger. And of course, the young David Brooks in behind the striker signed from Sheffield United. He's got three goals in eight appearances this season and is making quite a name for himself um, so far. But of course, you cannot forget Callum Wilson leading the line. He's got an impressive six goals in 12 appearances this season and actually bagged his first goal for England versus the USA uh, during his first cap the other night. Now, Bournemouth's expected formation is a 4-4-1-1 with Brooks playing just off the striker. Eddie Howe's kind of been forced to play that way on the basis that, that Josh King was out injured, but I think it's worked for him. So a bit of a blessing in disguise, maybe, you could argue. Um, Bournemouth's style is attacking, is entertaining. And of course, as I've already mentioned, Brooks will be looking to occupy that little pocket in between the defence and the midfield. And it's important that Lucas Torreira and Granit Xhaka or whoever plays in that midfield uh, pivot will be aware of that. In Wilson, they've got a striker capable of running in behind. But don't be fooled. He's also capable of playing with his back to goal and bringing the likes of Brook and Fraser into the game if and when they can get close to him. Now, although Bournemouth have scored 21 goals this season, that's one more than Spurs and just two less than Liverpool. Like us, they aren't exactly watertight defensively. They've conceded 16 goals this season in 12 Premier League fixtures. So they've got a leaky defence too. Um, I expect Arsenal to continue with the 4-2-3-1 formation that we've seen of late. Um, I expect Bern Leno to continue in goal, Bellerin at right back, Kolasinac at left back. And that's because at the time of recording this, there's still no word on Nacho Monreal's fitness. Uh, Socrates has returned to fitness and, and I'd personally like to see him come back in for Rob Holding and, and play alongside Mustafi. I still feel that pair are our safest option and the best combination when you take into account their individual attributes. Now, one hopes the midfield pivot would be Xhaka and Torreira. I know Xhaka wasn't great against Wolves last time out, but I still firmly believe that that is our best pairing. Um, I expect Ozil to start. I think Lacazette will lead the line uh, with Aubameyang operating from the left-hand side. But it's tough to predict whether it will be Mkhitaryan or Iwobi on the right-hand side. Um, I expect there to be goals in this one, given the 4 p.m., game is between Wolves and Huddersfield Town. I hope those who are planning to vegetate on their couches all day will at least get some form of entertainment. So hopefully there's goals. Um, I can see there being at least uh, 2.5 goals in this game. Cheeky little betting tip for you there if you're interested. Um, now often when people talk about where games will be won and lost, they point to the centre of the park and I usually agree most of the time anyway. But with this fixture, I'm not entirely sure that that applies. I feel as though this one will be decided on the flanks, uh, the right one in particular, and, and I'll explain why. One of the things we've often spoke about when analysing Unai Emery's tactics is the emphasis placed on his fullbacks getting forward. 
Will Hector Bellerin get forward on Sunday? Of course he will. The problem is he'll be leaving Ryan Fraser behind him, one of Bournemouth's biggest threats. Now, if Fraser stays forward in the hope of exploiting that space, Eddie Howe's left back suddenly has a problem. He'll be left to deal with an overload as both our right-sided players um, will be looking to exploit him and ganging up on him two on one. It's almost a game of he who dares wins, a game of chicken between Hector Bellerin and Ryan Fraser. Both will gamble on Sunday. Uh, I'm pretty certain of that. But it's all about picking your moments, knowing when to gamble and when to put your defensive responsibility first is the difficult challenge that these two players face. I think that we'll see Ryan Fraser tracking back with Hector Bellerin. I, I think that Eddie Howe will will recognise that he needs to try and do something about that. But I think equally Emery will stick to his principles and insist on Bellerin getting forward whatever the, the space it is he leaves behind him. Um, you know, Bellerin will do that. He'll be instructed to do that. Uh, so, you know, he'll need to be covered by the right-sided centre-back, whoever that is, or, or Lucas Torreira. Um, but when he does get forward and, and gets the overload with Mkhitaryan or Iwobi, whoever it may be, they need to make it count because whoever's the most effective out of Hector Bellerin and Ryan Fraser will have a huge say in which way this game goes. Um, but I guess we'll have to wait and see, you know. Uh, will both managers stick to their principles or will one swerve the risk i'm certain it won't be unai emery that swerves it so i guess it's dependent on uh, eddie howe then now a couple of did you know interesting facts going into this game afc bournemouth won their last premier league meeting with arsenal in january although that was their only victory in six top flight meetings with the gunners while Eddie Howe's side were defeated in their last Premier League home match against Manchester United, they have not lost consecutive outings at the Vitality Stadium since August 2017. Arsenal have scored more goals via substitutes than any other Premier League team this season with seven. Uh, indeed, six of their last ten goals in the competition have been scored by subs. Now, Callum Wilson, who has scored in all three of his top flight appearances against Arsenal, can now match Charlie Austin's Premier League record of netting in each of his four matches against the Gunners. The referee on Sunday is Craig Pawson, uh, a referee I don't have any particular feelings about, to be honest. I, I don't want to be harsh, but I think they're all useless, if I'm being honest. Uh, but he's not one that I've got a particular problem with, so hopefully he doesn't have too much impact on, on which way the, the game goes. Now, before we wrap up, I'd uh, like to urge all our listeners to head over to loserport.com. It's a fantastic new betting game in which the traditional idea of backing the winner has been flipped. There are some fantastic cash prizes available. And if you head over to their site, there's plenty more information there. Uh, Chris and the team are, are also kind enough to sponsor our podcast. And for that, we are most grateful. Uh, so my loser pool tips of the week are as follows. Uh, I'm going to give you three this week. So West Ham United, who host Manchester City, Crystal Palace, who visit Old Trafford and Huddersfield Town, who travel to Molyneux. Uh, so those are my three uh, for the week. Just want to thank you all again for listening. Don't forget to subscribe, whether that's on YouTube, iTunes, SoundCloud or whichever platform you're watching or listening from. Hit the like button too. That really helps our videos climb up the YouTube recommended list. And as always, I love to read your comments, both positive and negative. Always willing to take on feedback. Uh, so feel free to be brutal. Now follow us on Twitter at Chronicles underscore AFC. And thank you for your continued support. We'll be back on Tuesday morning with a review of the Arsenal Bournemouth game. Until then, ciao.